Hey, a pleasant good day, Sixers fans. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and we're going to dive into the dominance of the Sixers this far. Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid have been absolute demons this far on the court. Same with uh, James Harden, and Doc Rivers made a very good move. Please need to subscribe down below or above and these use widget to keep the channel growing. Let's get into it. That great move was starting Danny Green, who I didn't even like his play very much in the regular season at all, to be honest, but in the postseason, damn, he's definitely stepped it up, and he's definitely proven he's, at least in the first two, that he can be one of those veterans that even if he doesn't have it as much anymore in the regular season, he can step it up to the biggest level in the postseason. I mean, dunking Danny Green? We haven't seen that in a minute. So, hopefully he can continue that Toronto, because if that's the case, the whole point of this video is, can the Sixers' dominance continue? Hell yeah, it can continue, because... If the, but but that's a big caveat because we don't have Matisse. He's only played 10 minutes each game, and I think that was smart by Doc because it doesn't seemingly affect the bench as much because he wasn't rotated in as much, so they had to play with guys like Shake more. They had to play with others more like Paul B-Ball Paul down low um, and had to play with some of the other guards more. more not, not as much B-Ball Paul, but had to play with some of the other guards more because uh, Matisse Thibel is not going to be available. So Doc actually smartly, a guy that I haven't agreed with all of his decision-making this year when it comes to lineup structure, did a very good job with that because there's no point at keeping a guy in um, if he's not going to be eligible for three the next uh, handful of games up there in Toronto. So um, I would say, though, before coming into this series, and I even said it in the video, I believe, not having Matisse Thibel in the games three and four was a major concern for me. After seeing him only play 10 minutes a night and us dominate the Raptors, which is something I did not see happening just because of the regular season matchup, uh, but then you have Danny Green step up his game. Matisse Thibel uh, in the 10 minutes was still good, but it was only 10 minutes. So I think the fact that Green stepped up his game, the fact that Toby is playing at a different level in these first couple games, the fact that uh, Tyrese Maximus is playing absolutely bonkers redonkulous, um, he's averaging 30 freaking points. Obviously, that's not going to continue through the pledge. If it does, hats off to him, but it's just not realistic to expect that. And if it does, then we have a superstar, not just a star player on our hands. But when it comes to this team, I love how they've played. Offensively, it's been brilliant. So the first two games offensively, no complaints whatsoever, and no complaints on defense, which is something you haven't said all season. The thing with the Sixers usually has been, Oh, great offense, great offense, great offense. But you could always pick a couple defensive plays that they kind of could have put a team away sooner if they tighten up on the other end more. Rounding out the season, and now in the first two games of the postseason, the same, they seem to focus on that, excuse me. And now it's all coming together as one, baby, as the Sixers are up 2-0 to o in the series. And I honestly would project they're going to go up 3-0 to o tonight because as long as they play the same style of basketball, yes, it's in Toronto. Toronto gets loud. Great stadium up there. Great crowd up there. Great fan base up there for basketball, honestly. Obviously, they're hockey most, but they do still have a great fan base for basketball. We saw that show out a couple years ago. But... The way that the dominance of the Sixers has been early, unless if Toronto just snaps their finger and turns into the regular season Raptors, I don't see this changing. So, like, I, I expected this series to go six coming into it. It might even be, I mean, I'm not going to predict a three because that's a jinx. I would say let's go with five uh, now. I'm definitely lessening it by one game because I'm not doing the sweet jinx and screwing us over. But let's go by five games right now instead of six because I don't think having Tease out is actually going to be as big of a, as a factor as I thought. Not because I don't believe and love Matisse Thibault. I do. I think he's one of the best defenders in the league. It's more Doc actually smartly rotated the lineup that he hasn't been as big of a factor in the first two games. So now the team has learned how to play without him in those first two games. So that's actually very helpful. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please and subscribe down below. Above them, these use widgets to keep the channel going and growing. Let's go Sixers. Let's go up 3-0 tonight at 8 p.m. start in Toronto. Peace out, everybody.